Hello everybody, John Adolfi here and we are at 411 Hubble Ave in Syracuse. And I'll give you a lay of the land here, a look-see. This is a government-owned HUD home and it's got 1,400 square feet. Four bedroom, one bath it says. Let's go ahead and just begin our tour. Alright, it's got architectural shingles and they look pretty good. Uh, the Exterior needs some scraping and painting. The rest of it is vinyl siding. As you can see, the, all the wood that's uh, exposed is in need of scraping and painting. <laughs> and here's your backyard. No idea where it begins and ends. It's not that big of a backyard though. All right. Man, it looks bigger than the square footage is uh, stating that it is. We'll go take a look inside. All right, we're coming in through the side door, right into the kitchen. Already we can see the cheap vinyl tiles, but they're in halfway decent shape. All right. The kitchen is okay. It's just some few wooden cabinets. There's not many cabinets at all. It's got a stove and refrigerator. It's got a back porch here. Small back porch, nothing remarkable. Ah, here we go. This is where you can store all your food in this pantry. It's a good size. So there's a little bit of work that needs to be done. I say a little bit because you never know what you're going to get yourself into here. Okay. Very nice. The wood is intact. The wood floors are looking good. All the molding has not been painted over. Look, we even got a window seat here. It is the older windows with uh, newer aluminum storms on the outside screens and storms nice nice you you're looking for this kind of home this is good now i didn't mention this i didn't see it right away but the porch right there it's gonna have to be jacked up and new uh, posts put in and whatnot it's starting to lean all right this needs to be refinished but it looks good here's your little entryway here's your main door nice nice and wide all right, let's head upstairs. I said in the, earlier in this video that it's four bedroom, one bath. Square footage seems reasonable as far as the 1400 as I uh, shared earlier. Okay, that needs to be, the carpet needs to be replaced. You've got a open porch on the second story here. Now again, floor covering. Got some cracked tile in here. Got a claw foot tub that could be restored. No fan in here allowing the moisture to get out. Back bedroom, again, old. Maybe there's, most likely there's hardwood floors under everything up here because I've seen it before. I can't tell you 1000%. Let's try and taste it. Well, it looks like it. They're painted though. And here's your last bedroom. All the bedrooms are medium size. Well, not too bad. Here's the last one. All of our medium sized bedrooms. And then up in the attic. Yeah, that's what the color of the paint, I believe, they're used on the. Uh, flooring okay Let's okay we're down. down in the cellar and wow look at that it's one of the octopus furnaces this is in this thing is even huger than than huge wow okay hot water tank looks older may work everything else just needs a good cleaning you can feel the moisture down here so you'd want to run a dehumidifier you know what's great about these old coal furnaces that were converted to gas there's so few working parts that they never break down. I mean, you know, and when the electricity goes out, when everyone else who's dependent on a blower to uh, blow the hot air up into the ductwork, this goes by gravity <laughs> and it keeps you warm when the electricity goes out because it's gas that's supplying the fuel and that doesn't go out because the electricity goes out. All right, so a little pantry area. Looks like you got circuit breakers going on there. 
All right, I'll give you my final thoughts in just All a right, second. let me just say this for the record. The furnace does not scare me in the least. It's going to cost perhaps three to $5,000 to have that thing hauled out there and then have a new one put in. So that's not the issue. The issue is the rest of the house. Look, the assessed value is 65.6. In 1992, it sold for 69. So you can kind of get an idea of what top value is going to be for this house. And at $59,000, oh man, thumbs down. When this gets into the 30s, then we can start letting the thumb start to rise and you know the thumb does not lie. Give us a call 695-6434 to get inside. See for yourself if this is the house of your dreams. And just remember, real estate is awesome.